Okay guys, I'm going to talk you through a new delivery that I've had. It's the Total Side Mount System. It's come from Sump UK in collaboration with USIN Systems. Now if you guys are familiar with Sump UK, Andrew Goring's the man behind it. Uh, he's been making parts for around 15 years. He's a side mount diver, rebreather diver. And if you're anything like me, you've probably bought pieces of his, whether it's buckles, sliding D-rings, loop bungee, custom hardware plates. So this is a new design. I got really excited when he started to show me parts about it, and he's very kindly sent me a unit for testing. So my plan is to make a couple of videos. This is just to run through the initial unboxing, and then we're gonna do a setup video and then get in the water and take a look and see how it performs. So what I wanted to do is just run through and see what I've got in all the places. If we take a look at what's inside the parts box. Now, I like a lot of the parts Andrew does. And this is one of kind of the more interesting ones that I've seen. Lots of nice slots for the webbing to run through. And you've probably seen the video of the, the laser engraving. So I'm really keen to see how well it stands up. I'm going to punish it a little bit while I go diving with it. And I can see straight away it's a very light plate. So traveling with that's going to be cool. And in terms of quality and finish, no sharp edges, really nicely done. So super happy with what I'm seeing so far. We've got some other pieces. Um, we've got some pieces to make the H harness, other pieces to go on the spine and the waist webbing. You've probably seen already that there is a custom waist buckle that they've got, which is a, a quick release buckle. You've seen some videos of how it works. I'll show you that once it's attached. I've actually been trying that on my current harness and I have to say I've been really happy with how well that's working, particularly when I come out of the dive and I just snap it open. So that's been quite cool to see that. Some other pieces that are gonna go obviously on the chest you can see some custom attachment points for loop bungees and a piece of wing to come across if you're having the chest harness. Some of the parts are standard, some triglides, we've all seen those before, we know what they are. Some pieces of rubber for the waistband. We've got some of the, the drop attachment points which you know are going to sit on the waistband. A couple of low profile D-rings, which I guess are gonna go on the shoulders. What else have I got in here? A couple more D-rings. Probably I'm guessing one for the scooter crotch loop. And then the webbing that it comes with. What I liked about it, it's, it's not stiff. It's also not flimsy, it's not thin. And it's got a really nice red stitch through, which I've not actually seen before but it'd be quite nice to get a little bit of color accents, uh, particularly as I'm normally diving all black. So I'm kind of going to break tradition a little bit and, and, and get a bit of color on the unit. There's a, another piece of webbing, which is going to be for the crotch, I'm guessing. It's a much softer, much more comfortable feeling piece, which is kind of cool. Another piece of webbing, which is going to be for the chest. If you're making the H harness and you want a chest clip, that's what that's going to be. And then finally in here, I've got a cave arrow inspired wing bungee hook, which is going to be kind of cool. One of the things that I was really interested to see was the new wing. Now, I was half tempted to try and dive it this way around because I kind of quite like Andrew's logo. And for sure, I think if you're going to advertise the brand, then this is kind of cool. This is, of course, the inside, though. So if we just take a look at the outside... What you've got is a relatively short wing, which is going to put more of a lift over the middle of the body, which for me personally is probably where I need it. It's a standard wing in terms of the attachment, so four, four typical grommets. You've got the newer low-profile dump valves that are on the toggles running through some tabs on the wing. So that's actually going to locate that quite easily, I think. This is the, the 37 pound version. There is a different version. So in terms of the amount of lift that's on here. One of the things that I was really keen to see is the low pressure elbow that's here. This is the, the newer design system. So it's going to be a little bit more sleek, I'm hoping. What I noticed about it though, is that it gives you free reign to have this 
Now you can always do that with the other type of attachment, but you'd have to unscrew, set it, and then re-screw it. This is gonna be, I think, really comfortable uh, while you're diving. It's attached to a standard K-valve inflator. And what it actually then ships with is a low pressure inflator hose. And what I noticed was it's got a really nice action on the collar here, so much so that it's very easy to connect. It's literally just pushes on and the pull off, super easy. So really no work to push that on. So I'm actually looking forward to testing that. Hopefully we should be able to do one handed releases, no problem. The wing, as you can see, it's got a couple of pieces that are on it. This, this outer piece, this is obviously for a protective cover. There's no air cell in here, the, the air cell's in there. And then what I'm gonna see is how that performs when it's inflated and in the water. Also in the box, I've got some regular bungee, which I'm guessing I'm gonna be using for the, for the waistband to hook that around. And then one of the things that I'm particularly interested in is gonna be the weight pocket. What I can see, it's got the Velcro attachment. And looking at the size of this, this is gonna take something like a two, probably a three kilo block, I'm thinking at least. It's got a, a Cordura a stiff back, slots for the webbing. So this is gonna um, slot nicely onto the waist. And then when it's closed off, there's obviously a couple of bungee closures, which is just gonna add a little bit more security to the actual closing, but it's a super high quality finish. And this is nice and stiff. If I don't think about this wing, uh, I'll just, do a, a quick inflate and just have a little look at how big that's actually going to get. Now, of course, this is fully inflated. Now, when it's bungeed in, of course, you're not going to get that full thickness. But this I'm thinking is that's given me three big breaths. So I'm gonna see how that performs. So that is quite a nice smooth action. So I'm looking forward to putting the harness together. And what I'll do is I'll show you guys a little bit how we assemble it. And then ultimately when we take it diving, we'll then have another chat again and see what that's like. All right, thanks very much.